Ami, do we have crackers at home for Diwali? What? What's going on? Why is this happening everywhere? Redmi Note 3. <laughs> People comparing Redmi phones with Diwali crackers, atom bombs, iron boxes. I'm not even kidding. Have a look at these memes. I don't know Hindi, but I'm pretty sure this is making fun of Xiaomi phones. This guy here is a salesman. He's telling people that Redmi phones have multiple cool features. It can help make bread omelet. It can be used as an iron box and whatnot. Funny, at the same time, crazy. In this video, let's talk about how all this started in the first place, whether the comparison is fair or not, uh, and more. But before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Sundar, this is Technology Jock. Do me a small favor, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. It really helps me stay motivated to create more unique content. So the reason those memes were being shared all over social media is because Xiaomi phones have always been criticized for their heating issues. It's not that simple though, because some of those criticisms were true, are true, but most of them aren't. So before going in depth, let me first tell you all possible reasons of overheating. Number one, when the processor is running at its full speed, like when you're gaming or shooting 4K videos. Number two, when uh, the battery drains quickly. Once again, gaming is an example. Playing PUBG for 30 minutes means the phone loses 10 to 15% charge quickly. The more the drain, the more the power leakage, and hence the phone heats up. Number three, when you charge your phone. Once again, this is caused by transfer of charge. Number four, when you're using the phone outdoors uh, under the hot sun or when the screen is set to full brightness. And number five, when there are issues with the hardware design or with the software, which is abnormal unlike the previous reasons. There are other reasons too apart from these, but these five are the most common ones. And let's stick to them for now. So which one of these happened to Xiaomi phones? To be honest, the first four reasons happened to all phones, no exceptions. But back in 2014, when the smartphone industry started seeing a boom in India, budget phones were too bad. They were slow, the software would make them even slower. Playing games like Asphalt or Real Racing wasn't a possibility back then. But when Xiaomi released the Mi 3, not the Redmi Note 3, the Mi 3, the flagship one, everything changed. It was Xiaomi's flagship phone at the time and it was launched for just 13,000 rupees. Xiaomi also started launching more phones with really good processors. So of course a lot of people started buying them. Of course they heated up every once in a while because people now started gaming on their phones. But other budget phones like those from Samsung and HTC just couldn't handle all the graphics. It was very slow. People probably never bothered playing high-end games on those budget phones because we were told by those guys over at Purvika and Universal that high-end games can be played only on flagship phones. So obviously people didn't really experience any heating issues with those uh, Samsung HTC LG budget phones because they just use them for casual tasks. Another reason is because Xiaomi started using metal on their budget phones way before Samsung or LG did. Hell, Samsung didn't even use metal for their flagship phones until 2015. Even then, some of the issues with Xiaomi phones weren't really issues. Sometimes the phones got warm. Getting warm isn't the same as getting hot. But when an innocent Xiaomi user comes across these crazy memes, of course he gets paranoid even when the phone doesn't overheat. Now, moving on. Did reason number five happen to Xiaomi phones? Hardware design flaws and software issues? Yes, it did. There wasn't any hardware design flaws, none that I know of. But there were issues with software. MIUI hasn't always been perfect. MIUI is a software that's rather run by the community, not entirely by the brand. Users keep sharing their feedback on MIUI forum. Xiaomi takes feedback very seriously, by the way, and fixes all the issues one by one. That's the reason why your Xiaomi phone gets so many updates, because they continuously strive to make it perfect. So maybe during the first one or two months after phone launches, users face issues, but I'm sure everything was eventually fixed. These software-induced overheating issues happen to Samsung phones as well. I mean, it happens to uh, many phones, but I've seen it happen to Samsung phones with my own eyes. 
my dad is using a Galaxy S8 Plus and my mom is using a Galaxy S7 Edge. I used to have a Galaxy Note 4 and I've seen them all get a bit too warm at times. Due to bugs that cropped up from OTA updates probably, the phones got warm even on normal usage while uh, browsing or using WhatsApp and Facebook. And subsequent OTA updates fixed the issues. Now, sometimes in the past, the chipsets themselves had issues, like the Snapdragon 810 and Snapdragon 617. Xiaomi never released a phone with either chipset in India, but almost all other brands did. So what's the situation like today? A lot has changed. Chip, the latest chipsets from Qualcomm, MediaTek, uh, High Silicon, uh, Exynos, they are all super efficient. Back then, the chipsets were manufactured on the 28 nanometer FinFET technology, which means the distance between the individual transistors were long, so there was power leakage leading to heating issues. But now, for instance, let's take the entire lineup of Xiaomi's 2018 budget phones, Redmi 6A, Redmi 6, Redmi 6 Pro, Redmi Y2, Redmi uh, Note 5 Pro, uh, Mi A2. They all have chipsets that are manufactured on uh, the 14 nanometer or the 12 nanometer FinFET technology. So there is minimal power leakage and the phones don't easily get hot. But like I said, if you play PUBG or any other graphically intensive game or carry out any big demanding task like video editing for a long time, the phones are bound to get a bit too warm and that's normal. It happens to all phones. I recorded the temperature of the OnePlus 60 a few times while playing PUBG it never crossed 45 degrees. Same with my Xiaomi Mi 6. My friends using Redmi Note 5 Pro, Zenfone Max Pro also experience the same. The phones get hot but not abnormally hot. Once again, we can't really bring Samsung phones into the equation here. Look at the Galaxy J8. It costs 18,000 rupees but comes with a Snapdragon 450 chipset and a 720p display. With that kind of minuscule power uh, and less number of uh, pixels to work with, the phone may not get too warm. But that doesn't mean the phone is very efficient. It just means their phones have to pack more power. It just means their phones have to be competent. It just means Samsung has to stop taking its loyal customers for granted. I mean, think about the kind of experience, experience you get, you with, get a with a mediocre, mediocre processor, processor and a low resolution, low resolution display, display after, after spending, spending 18,000 18, rupees, on, rupees it. on it. So comparing a phone with a great processor and a phone with a mediocre processor doesn't really make sense when we are talking about overheating. Even a Nokia 1100 doesn't overheat, but that doesn't mean it's better than a Zenfone Max Pro or Honor Play. But in general, anything less than 45 degrees is fine. If it crosses 50 degrees though, or if it crosses even 37 or 38 degrees on just normal usage, like when you're just uh, browsing or uh, browsing the web or texting, then there could be something wrong with the device. So. I guess all possible questions have been answered in this video. If you still have something in mind, feel free to post it in the comment section. I'll reply to as many comments as possible. So yeah, these memes about Xiaomi phones overheating, that's probably the biggest smartphone myth ever. Or is there anything else that's bigger? If there is, tell me what it is in the comments below. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Subscribe to Technology Jock for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from Technology Jock, leaving for the moment. Have a wonderful and safe Diwali.